So guys, let's get started on the site, uh, the front site I mean, and let's see how we can go about that. Okay, so I'll start off with the cylinder, and I want that rotated on the Z axis I think, yeah, 90 degrees, and snap it to the middle, oh, make sure it's snapped properly actually, like so, and da -da -da. just move it here. Make it smaller. I'm just gonna use the wireframe for reference here. Okay, something like that. Here we go. trying to figure out how we can go about making that hole. Okay, I see. I see what you can do. Um, select four of these faces. Make sure you don't have anything else selected like I just did. I could have been trouble. Okay, so four faces and I will just extrude uh, them out to have a look around this point. Make that flat. Oh, actually, make it a little bit more flat. There we go. Um, that's weird. Why is that not? There you go. It's a nice straight line now. <coughs> yeah, that should be fine. So I'm just going to insert an edge loop here and here. And select these. Actually, it does a better way. Select uh, this and this, and then deselect the insides. Like so. I'm going to extrude all the way up to here, and I want to move this here so it's a, a nice angular shape there. Okay, and insert an edge loop right there. Actually, even better, uh, use the edge ring utilities and just click G there. They should be in the same space. And here we go. I'm also going to add another edge loop. Oops, right there, same way. And I will select all these words and push those ones back as well, like so. So now we have something like this. Now what we need to do is I'm just going to lower these a little bit. What we need to do is uh, select the top faces again and extrude to around this point here. I'm going to move this back as well again and we want the faces inside selected, just the inside faces. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust the microphone. Like so, there we go. That's a little bit better probably as well. Um, and I'm going to use the bridge tool, which should be on one division. There we go. And actually, delete that. You don't really need that. So, shift, uh, right click, delete. And let me have a look. Okay, so we need these edges. Uh, these faces, I mean, selected. Oh, okay, so what, what went wrong? I have uh, an edge over here for no reason. Okay, that was accidental. And same here. Delete those. 
just make sure you've got that didn't happen to you. There was a, a lot of edge loops that you were putting in. Just be careful. So just select uh, these faces at the top like this and extrude them all the way to the top. Okay. Move this back a bit. Oh. Let's just have a look. Yeah, just a little bit back. And okay, that looks fine. And we just need to adjust this part here. There we go. And we will boom. just take this a little bit down, like so. Maybe a little bit more, just where that hole ends. And we will just extrude. Again, all the way to the top this time, and fix that up. Here we go. And I'm just going to use the bridge tool here. Let's have a look. Everything's fine. Great bridge. And I want to. I'll just leave that edge actually because it follows the. Uh, whole thing. That's four, four edges on the side. That's fine. And what I want to do here as well is uh, probably go to the front view, select these, and I'm just going to have a very subtle uh, scale there. And another thing as well. Oop. Okay. It's best not to scale, you just leave it. We could probably fix it, but actually, to be honest, I don't think the scale would be that good. Okay, so you have something like this, just squish it down a bit, and my settings is like 0 0.97. What we need to do now the actual site and uh, I'm going to use uh, not sure cylinder or pipe to you would be best no, actually pipe to would be completely fine I'm gonna work with it it's just annoying sometimes because uh, you don't uh, the size of this uh, inner circle but, uh, it should be fine so 90 degrees on the x z axis. Snap it to the middle. And let's just work on our side. I'm just gonna use wireframe just to see where everything ends. Okay, so something like this. Um Take the subdivisions down. Okay. Okay, have the subdivisions on eighteen. Just so everything matches over here. And I will just snap all these words so it's flat over here. Bring it down. Actually, bring the whole thing down. Like 
this and probably also uh, move this down a little bit like so. All the weights, I'm just going to snap them like so. And I'll delete maybe like four this whole thing. Delete those faces like so. And I want to just uh, fill these holes, mesh fill hole, and the same on this side. I don't think we need to add any split polys. Nope. And of course, this is what I meant by the little circle being too small. So I'm just going to scale it out to about this amount, I think. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And select these words here, snap them back into place. There we go. Select these. And I'm going to hit B and probably go with like 0 0.20. Just take them out a little bit. Like so. And I'm going to isolate this part, even though I didn't really need to, to be honest. And let's remove the top faces and remove the bottom faces on this part. Select everything and deselect. There we go, that should be fine, yeah that's fine. Okay, mesh combine. I'm going to isolate them and merge vertex tool. going on there. Okay. And another thing, I'm going to select the words at the top, including these ones. And hit B. Probably just move it a tiny amount. So, mm, nah, actually it's just better like this. Okay, and now for the little detail on the side, the actual reticule. Oh, what's going on here? I think my computer is a bit of a, on the heavy load right now. have a lot of stuff rendering in the background. There you go. And I'm gonna rotate that to 90 degrees. Actually no, I'm gonna keep keep that on zero. Sorry. There we go. Snap it to the middle. We want around eight subdivisions on there. Bring it in here. And make it around this size, like this. Maybe a little bit bigger, like so. And select the faces and delete the bottom ones and then duplicate the thing. And let's have a look. Okay, make that a little bit smaller. Here we are. That's our site done. Okay, and now just for the finishing touches on this little part, what we're going to do is just use the cylinder 
uh, we'll say that on the X by 90. Scale it out. Select one of the edges. Put an edge in the middle. Let's give it a snap. Like so. There we go. And I am sure this thing goes through that little hole. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to just add some bevels on the sides. Like so. Hmm. Better to go to the attribute editor. Bit more control for the bevel there. Okay, so we have something like this. So let's have a look if we bevel this part as well. Okay, so I'm going to merge with X2, like so. Yeah. And here we are. And same on this side, merge with X2. And another thing. Yes, you don't need these edges inside. So I'm going to shift right click and delete. And I'm going to soften this edge. Normal soften edge. Same here. 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 Fine. School. Yep. And we need to extrude a little part of this. So how big is that going to be? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So what you can do is how much is that? I think that's two. Yeah, that's two. So I'll take two out of here. Extrude. Click the little circle. Here we go. Nice and easy. And scale it down. Like this. Bevel the edges as well. Like so, split polygon. Here we go. Let me just have a look what's going on here. Um, uh huh. Let's move this back a little bit. Make it bigger, I me. Mean. There you go. Uh, insert an edge loop right here. Take two faces. Probably have it something like this. Go. Um, just bevel these parts as well, like so. Split polygon. And do the same. 
pull it down a little bit more. Or something like this. There we go. And I want to just add this little part over here as well. So just another cylinder. Rotate on the Z axis, um, like so. And degrees. Snap to the middle. Here we go. Get the words back. Faces. Oops. Here we go. And do the same. Yeah, if you haven't already, yeah, already did. It's fine. And I know we did that there as well. And probably also just extrude this part up. Like so. I'm just looking for what uh, more things we can do here. Seems fine. Okay, well, I guess it's time for uh, the stock. So the stock could be a bit complicated to do, but hopefully we won't run into any trouble. So what I want to do is just uh, on the receiver select the faces like so, and then start to deselect the ones we do not need. Like this. So the only faces we have now is the ones at the back. So I'm going to duplicate them, duplicate the face. And let me just so I want to select that and deselect. So shift select this uh, face here. So sensor the pivot, and I'm going to start the extrusion like this. Here we go. And what I want to do here is just make a, an edge loop right there. And I want to get rid of these faces. Actually, I'm just going to leave that one for now. Might be useful later down the line. <coughs> so I delete all those edges as we don't need them. And just have a thing here. Okay, so I'm going to just isolate this, remove one half, the right side, remove that face, select these two, extrude, like so. Also delete those faces as well. Oops. Merge vertex two. Oh, just before we do that, it's also a face here. Be careful. So merge vertex two and snap these four to here. There we go. Yeah, something like this. And. I'm going to start making uh, the shape and I'm using the bevels to do that. Here we go. Also, I just want to move this down as well 
and this is the let's be a bit careful with this one this is the the hole so just be careful it looks fine with everything okay and I'm just going to select all these words just make them a straight line and rotate them like so careful here okay let's see okay that looks fine here we go and we just want to select uh, these faces at the back here we go and I'm going to extrude them pull them out all the way out and scale and rotate it see about this level let's move this down a bit move this up okay scale here we go so you have something like this going to go to normal set normal angle just to make it look all right and let me just have a look here last time I was doing it there was some trouble here I'm just going to quickly test that no that's fine okay that's great so what I want to do is get rid of these faces from the extrusion and I'm going to duplicate special with these settings 1 1 minus 1 there we go mesh combine so sense the pivot and merge we had 32 now 16 that's great I forget to sense the pivot properly Actually, did it wrong. Um, now select these four words at the back, like so. so I'm just going to okay, that's fine. Uh, work from this view here. You want to just get like a, a rounded shape going here. So just play around with these ones as well. Like so. There we go. Mm, let's not let these go to waste as well and use those to our advantage too. And something like this. Okay, and I'm just going to straighten them out again. And we just need to do the same with these words. So I'm going to select um, quite a fair amount of them. I think that's about eight. Yep. I'm going to use the scale tool again. Oops, that's bad. Make sure to deselect these ones. Okay, this one doesn't you don't have to do too much here. That looks fine for now. I'm just going to go to set normal angle for now. Okay. Let's 
Um, it's better just to soften all of these edges inside. Like so. And these ones as well. Normals, soften edge. There we go. It's starting to take shape, but it's not there yet at all. So, what you can do now is just use the edge loops. Maybe bring the whole thing up like so. Bring some of these down. down a little bit and okay bring these down also bring this down more bit of a trial and error really this spot and to scale them again and rotate same here Okay, let's have a look what we got now. Whoa. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to control Z my way out of it. Okay. This looks well at least the back of it looks fine right now. Um let's figure out what we can do. down a bit. Maybe bring that down a notch and rotate. Scale I mean and rotate after that. Let's have a look. Okay that's that's actually not too bad. We just need to fix the actual angle. Uh, so what I'm going to do is add another edge loop right there. Take that down. the same right here here also and this one as well so we have something like this I'm just going to also select this edge to click B, tool settings, maybe have it on like 1.05, okay, maybe a little bit more, um, 140 maybe, or 130, yeah, 130 should do it. Play around with this one a bit as well, just to give it some some of that shape. Okay, I'm going to insert one right here as well, and then select all the words right here. just to give it that shape give that interesting shape okay so basically every time you do the stock to be honest it will most likely turn out different 
most of the time. It's just, at least for me, it's like that. It's quite a weird part for me to do. And I'm just going to also play around with some words over here. So, here we go, and I think we want this uh, gap bigger as well, I'm just going to open it up, um, okay, just select the faces inside I guess, like so. Scale that up, like so, and just get these words, push them back a little bit, not too much, just something like that. I'm just going to insert an edge loop right here, select these faces. Pull them out, delete, and delete the bottom ones as well. So we have something like this. I'm just going to isolate that really quick and select the edge inside. Let's see what a bevel does for us. Okay, merge vertex two or not. Okay, I'm just going to use merge. Select the words, merge them. Do the same here. There we go. So we have something like this. Maybe even lift this part up a little bit. Oops. So I have something like this. There we go. And now for this little bit here. It's the same principle, just uh, Duplicate the faces. And extrude like this. And of course for this one, what I want to do is just get the sides and I'm going to bevel it. I'm just going to isolate this really quick. Go and done. Just select all the edges around. Okay, that's fine. And bevel. We want about two hundred and eighty. We'll need to do here as well. Maybe set normal angle would be fine. Okay, not really. Um, just select the edges that look hard. Normal soften edge. And do the same here. Okay, that's fine. And I might push this in a little bit, like so. Now let's see what you can do with the bevel. Uh, yeah. Could be quite interest interesting. Uh, it might not be worth doing it. Okay, let's have a look. So I'll just actually put another segment in there. Okay, so 
have to, as you can see, this is see-through for some reason. So if we just go to select the material, it will be fine, like this. Mm, eh, actually, it looks better without a bevel, to be honest. Yeah, that looks that looks much better, much more clean. Okay. And for this part as well, what I want to do is uh, select the faces. This will be quite hard actually to do this way. So I'm just going to select the faces inside. And we'll just delete them. There we go. And they also want to bevel this part as well, I think. And see how that turns out. Okay. Bevel. These edges are a bit too close, but I think it should be fine. No. So before I do any bevels there, I need to move these edges down. Sorry, these words down. Like so. And carefully select all of these edges. Bevel. Okay. It's quite close there as well. That looks okay now. Okay, so that's fine. And what I want to do is delete all the faces inside and just leave the bevel. Like so. Delete. Um, <laughs> merge these. There we go, that should be fine. Yep, that's cool. So that's our AK pretty much done. All we have is uh, the detail left. So yeah.